And I don't mean calm as in, I'm calm. That's not the kind of calm I'm talking about. I'm talking about when was the last time you truly felt calm in your body and still in your mind. I'm betting that you can't remember. <laughs> and especially at the moment, it's quite hard to feel genuinely calm when things are quite unpredictable. Well, life isn't unpredictable because we can't do anything. That's very predictable, but knowing what's gonna come next. So just spend the next 10 to 15 minutes with me and let's get you calm with some EFT. I've got six rounds for you today. I got a bit carried away yesterday. And I thought if you can hang around for another couple of minutes at the end, we'll also do some box breathing, which is a fantastic tool, which is simple to use. Yeah, I'm hearing you. Thank you, Claire. Let's see how you feel at the end. So see if you can hang around for the tapping and the box breathing. Let's see if we can shift that anxious feeling. So you know what we're doing. But we're going to be tapping on the fleshy part of either hand, whichever is your preferred option. Top of the head in a circle, inside of the eyebrow, outside of the eyebrow on the temple, under the eye, on the socket bone, under the nose, under the lip, on the crease of the chin, just gently tapping, under one of your collarbone points, or both, make it however is most comfortable, under the arm, along the bra strap line, and then we'll finish across the wrist. So before we start, make sure you're really comfortable. Put both of your feet on the floor. And maybe even just for a few seconds, let's go the whole hog today. Just sit, feel your feet on the floor and imagine connecting to the ground beneath your feet. And imagine roots actually coming out and attaching you safely to the ground beneath your feet and feel those roots spreading out far and wide, keeping you grounded, keeping you connected. And then we'll get started. Even though I feel restless and unsettled, I can choose to accept myself one day I feel unsettled. I am restless. My mind is full of thoughts. At times it makes me anxious. I find it so hard to relax. I wish I could feel calm. But my mind and my life are too busy. I don't have the time to be calm. There is too much to do and not enough time. All right, take a nice deep breath in. We're just easing ourselves into this. Let that go. And remember that as soon as you start tapping, you are making physiological and psychological changes to the body and you are turning off your stress response and shifting yourself into a rest and digest state. Now I don't know about you but that made me burp loads so I do apologise for any what I'm doing. <laughs> That's what it always does to me. Oh. Is that all yawning? Let's go again. Even though I felt agitated I give myself permission to love and accept myself. My feathers are always ruffled. At times, I am too quick to react. I can't remember the last time I felt truly calm. I am always on alert. My body feels stressed. My mind is stressed. Life can be exhausting. Feeling calm is a fairy tale. 
how I wish that could be my story. Take a nice deep breath in again. Just see that while you're focusing on this tapping, you can just allow your mind just to calm. We've all got things to do, but we haven't got to do them now. Being here right now is all that matters. Maybe before we start the next round, check with your feet. Can you still feel them on the floor? Are those roots still growing beneath your feet into the ground? Keeping you safe. Okay. Even though I only think other people feel calm, I deeply and completely accept myself right now. Feeling calm just isn't me. <clears throat> It's not my style. I don't even really know what it means. Other people can be calm, but I just don't know how. And that makes me feel a little sad. What would it feel like to be calm? To feel tranquility. I would very much like to have that feeling. Another deep breath. Go back to your feet. Feel them on the ground or the floor. Feel the roots going into the ground. Keeping you grounded. Helping your body to relax. Even though people telling me just to be calm is irritating. I deeply and completely love and accept myself. I would like to start my day more positively and avoid the hustle bustle of my life. To give myself some space and to quieten my mind. Just the thought of it is helping me relax. My shoulders are dropping. My jaw is relaxing. My breath can start to slow. I am safe to allow a calm feeling to begin. There is nothing I need to do right now. Take a deep breath. Okay. Even though I used to find being calm very difficult, I deeply and completely love and accept myself. I'm starting to see it differently. I can give myself permission to relax, to consider a calmer approach to life as a good thing. Being calm is not giving in. Calmness is about allowing me to be my true self. <clears throat> to release the clutter in my mind. To simply focus on what is best for me. In each present moment. I am starting to feel different in my body. And I am in Enjoying this change in me. Take another deep breath. Last round. Even though being calm in my life may take some practice, I deeply and completely love and accept myself. Maybe I had simply forgotten how to be calm. But now I can consider recalling that feeling. 
knowing that only good can come from it. <clears throat> I deserve to be calm. It is safe for me to sit back and relax. The world will still turn. The sun will still rise. Being more gentle to myself will benefit me and those around me. <clears throat> I am calm, I am happy, and I am enough. Take another nice deep breath, and then you can stop tapping. If you've got a drink nearby, have a sip of tea like I am, or some water. So I'd love to know <clears throat> how you're feeling now. Feel free to comment. Or if anything came up for you and you want to share it, you can do that. And then what we'll do is next, before we finish, we're going to just do a little bit of box breathing. So this is something you can use any time. It's nice and easy. It's used to help you feel calm and relaxed like lots of breathing techniques. It reduces stress and it can improve your mood. Oh, that's great, Helen, thank you. And uh, box breathing is great for generalized anxiety, PTSD, uh, panic disorder, and actually, and actually depression as well. So this is a nice quick one to get ready. Give me another sip of tea. We're gonna be inhaling holding, exhaling, holding. That's the like the box idea. So if you want, you can do it in different ways, but I tend to just like, I can draw you a box in the air so you know what the next move is. So just again, be seated comfortably, feel your feet on the floor. You're still, connect, still connected to that ground. You're less anxious. That's great to know. Thank you, Claire. So let's just start. Take a nice inhale in for four. Hold, exhale, hold, inhale, hold, exhale, hold, inhale, hold. Exhale, hold, inhale, hold, exhale, hold, and release. So that gives you an idea of box breathing. Obviously you can do it for as long as you like. That's actually made me feel quite a lot better. So I will pop this video up on my grid. I'll also pop it onto my YouTube channel so you can use it again. Any questions, drop me a line. I'm here to support you and help you. Uh, if you want another breathing technique tagged on to any of these lives that I do each Wednesday again, just drop me a message so that I know what you would like from me. And I will pop that in next week. And I'll see you next time. Thank you for joining me today. Mwah!